One of the strongest temptations that man has to meet is upon the point of appetite. The controlling power of appetite will prove the ruin of thousands when if they had conquered on this point, on this point, then they would have the moral power to gain victory over every other temptation. I'd like to first define temptation and intemperance. Temptation is the desire to indulge in something or do something that is wrong or unwise. Now, it may be a small temptation in the beginning, but it can grow as you indulge in the temptation. Intemperance is the lack of moderation or self-restraint in any areas of your life. When we overeat, our minds and senses become stupefied such that we are not able to think straight and quickly as we should. Intemperance of any kind benumbs the perceptive organs and so weakens the brain nerve power that eternal things are not appreciated but placed on the same level with the common. The brain nerves which communicate with the entire system are the only medium through which heaven communicates with man and through which he can be affected in his inmost life. Therefore, whatever disturbs the circulation of this electric current in the nervous system lessens the strength of the vital powers and as a result a deadening of the sensibilities of the mind occurs. But here is the catch. When we overcome on the point of appetite, we gain the moral strength to overcome every other temptation that comes our way. And just as in the physical law of nature that states, for every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction, even so, the victory over unnatural and perverted appetite lies at the point of overcoming intemperance. And since this is the foundation of Satan's success, you can be sure that he will contend every inch of ground you gain or attain upon the point of appetite. Intemperance in eating and drinking is the foundation of many if not all of the diseases that come our way. Whoever eats too much or of food which is not healthful is weakening his power to resist the claimers of other appetites and passions like sexual appetites. I understand it is most difficult to unlearn habits that have already been indulged or established throughout life and the demon of intemperance is of giant strength and is not easily conquered but let everyone that is tempted in this regard and everyone is look to Jesus Christ because we are told thanks be to God which giveth us the victory in Christ Jesus he either saves you completely or he doesn't you choose and it is a most comforting thing to remember that God promises to send us his Holy Spirit who will give us temperance in all things because this is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. God bless you friends and see you next time.